Hi, one for Romans brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Your comment and advice will be highly appreciated. Today we are taking a look at politics, corruption, and the young guys and ladies. Yes, I will not talk about only the men, but I have to talk about the ladies as well. But you know, when it comes to corruption, you know, you may say that ladies don't do it much. Why? Because most of them, and when it comes to political position or those that are involved in politics, most of them are, are men. So all the people that will be arrested or accosted as a result of one corruption or the other, most of them will definitely be men because they are the more people in politics. But don't forget, the ladies are also in it, and they are even, some of them, I'm not trying to be biased or anything, some of them are even more corrupt than the men. So let us take a look at this very thing, looking at the young guys. The old people here, we all know what all they do already, but what Pain some of us is the young guys that are the young ladies and gentlemen that are entering politics now. It's all about the money, yes. Why? Because all that they think about is once you're out of school, you if you are not able to get one job or the other, or one lucrative job or the other, all that you can do is to join politics, make money for yourself, and off you are gone. But is that going to help us? No, it's not going to help us. Why? Because there is a need for some people to create businesses. There is a need for some people to work in other sectors of the economy. They can say that those people are there to work. But you can join your politics, but it shouldn't be as if you are joining the politics to a man's world for yourself. Yes, you are entitled to money. You are entitled to money that is due you. Yes, but not to get involved in corruption. But now the motive and what is making politics more lucrative to the young guys and ladies is all about the money. And that is not going to help us because once you are lured or convinced by money to join politics, definitely you will do everything. You know, you practice what we call the unjustified means to accrue some money or to get some money for yourself. That is what is going to happen. That's why the young ones that are entering politics. Yes, politics is beautiful. We are all in it. Any sector of politics, yes, you can be an observer, you can be a critic, you can be right in politics, whatever it is. We are all politicians. Yes, you know, politics is ubiquitous, as we always say in political science. Politics is ubiquitous, it's all over the place. And anybody at all can involve in polit politics, yes, as we are seeing by the young guys that are entering politics. It shouldn't only be about massing work for yourself. Otherwise, the corruption that we are fighting the old people for is going to eat very deep into our family. It has started already. That is why we need people that are working so hard to be in politics. Politics should be about rendering services to your people, not only amassing wealth for yourself. But one thing that the young guys should know, those that don't have any serious profession or whatever it is when it comes to their private life before they are joining politics, as one famous general secretary once said, every career in politics ends in disappointment. They should be very aware about that, and that disappointment will be as a result of you being sentenced to jail, life imprisonment for corruption, or one thing or the other. That is why when you are in there, please, nobody is dissuading you from being in politics, but render services to your people, build the life of your people, let the people know that you are representing them, or working in their interest, not only for your pocket, but those of you who are in for corruption and to my mouth well for yourself, please, we cannot stop you. It's your life, but one day, remember that. Every career in politics ends up in disappointment. I wish you all the best and we hope and pray that those of you that have your ears on the ground you will be able to listen so that you represent the youth in politics, whether it's party A, party B, party D, or whatever it is. You represent the youth and work so well so that the adage and the, all that we know, all the black paint on politics or politicians, that they are all corrupt will be out one day and we'll see a white picture when it comes to politicians of Africa. That is what we pray for the young ones to do. But it's not only about the politics. No, it's not only about the politics. There are other sectors of the economy. You know, private businesses are there. We have to venture into all those things also. Some may argue that the only way that they can make the money to set up their own business or work in other sectors of the economy is through politics. Because that is why they throw money all over the place. But one day, Karma will catch up with you when it comes to corruption. That is why there is a need for all of us to work together. We cannot fight corruption forever. No, it's not going to happen. There are some bad notes that no matter what, they will keep on saying that tradition must go. So yes, we cannot take those people out. Yes, but there is a need for the majority of the youth, both the ladies and the gentlemen that are joining politics, work for the betterment of your people and render services for your people, not only amassing what for yourself. It's some, let your people also eat some. That's why there is a need for everyone to work in the interest of the masses that we call white polite when it comes to political science. Please, for more about discussions and analysis like this, this observation about the young people in politics now. But one day, as the years go by, 
five years, seven years. If you are not careful, the law may catch up with you and you may not be happy for the rest of your life. Please, for more about discussions and analysis like this, kindly subscribe to this channel. One forum is for the best when it comes to politics of Africa and historical antecedents. For the best when it comes to security and crime, we'll be right here to discuss and analyze everything for you to understand. Please, for your comments and your likes, will be highly appreciated always. Kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, and thank you so much. Always be with us. Thank you.